conviction has set in among pastoralists in Taraba State as 40 cattle died after allegedly eating a type of poisonous grass called killer grass. According to Daily Trust, all the cattle belonging to a pastoralist in Gamgam village in the Bali local government area. It was gathered that the incident occurred around 11 a.m. Sunday shortly after a boy simply identified as a jal led a herd of cattle into a grassland where the cattle ate the poisonous grass. Okay, led a herd of cattle into a grassland where the cattle ate the poisonous grass. A witness in the village, Ali Belu, said that few hours after the cattle ate the grass, 40 of the head of about 200 cattle died. Wow. He said the grass is found in some locations in the state and it is difficult to identify the species of the grass, especially at the beginning of the rainy season when animals rush to eat fresh grasses. Belu stated that Jal and his family soon after the incident took the remaining cattle to another location to avoid a repeat of the incident. He says such incidents were recorded from time to time and poisonous grass has always been a nightmare for pastoralists. As I'm talking to you, the pastoralists in this area have migrated out of the area to prevent their head from eating the killer grass, he said. Okay. And this is the benefit of a ranching. Stay in one place. You should be able to know what you need to feed your grass with. You don't even need to stress yourself. And I can remember when the Southeast governors, they were playing to the gallery. Up to, up to now, we don't even know where they stand. Where they stand. Where, where they stand. Because that time they were saying, oh, yes, we don't want uh, this and this and that. No, no, that they were deceiving themselves. If they had taken the proper decision at the time they were supposed to take it, all these problem, problems were experiencing in Southeast, we wouldn't have been experiencing them because they caused the problem that we are passing through because they suggested then that say oh let the northerners let the SME let us stay where they are that if they want to buy grass they can you know when they bring in their cows to sell they can buy grass and take it back and everybody was like oh that was a, a good decision you know that's a that's nice not knowing that they were deceiving themselves until when it got to what where it got to at the end of the day, what we are trying to say is that if really these people are, have agreed, it's going to even favor them because I don't know, it's, just, it's not as if uh, for anything. If they really believe in this uh, ranching, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't have lost all of those cows that they lost. But because of greed, because of uh, lawlessness, because of ignorance, and they still stick to what they want to stick to because of wickedness, that's why they are experiencing this. So with their level of experience, they ought not to have. They all. They ought to have known uh, the kind of grass that these people, uh, this uh, cow, are supposed to be eating. But see, because of ignorance, now they are still going to another place again, going from places to places, which is not, uh, which is very, very det det detrimental to their business in the first place. Well, may their gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Full any warlords and first class citizens are gone so soon. It's inevitable. And constant apply in the farm and business for someone to lose his or her wealth and to face calamities such as this. However, in the advent of people becoming sick in the mind, especially towards crops growers, God can surely pay the headers to reap what they sow. Hmm. Okay. Oh. What do you think of someone that think of himself alone? Cow business is private business. And I don't know the reason why they use their private business destroying other people's business. Can Buhari allow someone to carry his goods destroying his farm? <laughs> May God bless you for this message you have. Or the advice you are giving to them. I love to read your comments because you are one of the northerners who is participating in true humanity. I think that this particular person, people have been uh, taking note of what he says. Abu Bakr Sadiq Muhammad. Well... Uh, Nigeria should declare three days of mourning for these esteemed citizens. All flags should fly at half mass with fastings. It's either we choose peaceful uh, peace as a people or we continue to lose what will benefit us. In a country where there is no peace, both parties or religion suffer. It's so to laugh at your fellow 
is to laugh at yourself and unfortunately the poor masses are ignorantly at the receiving end what are you talking about simple thing for them to say in a particular place so that all of this problem will not even happen in the first place they said no but they prefer to destroy other people so who's fault but when they slaughter human beings and destroy farmlands because of cows you refuse to caution them what hypocrisy i don't know who is talking and if you understand what i'm trying to say what are you trying to say well your illiteracy is making you to write something else when you have another thing in mind okay farmers should start planting this poisonous grass to prevent fulani esmen attack in their farms what a loss nigeria has lost 40 illustrious sons and daughters to the cold hands of death condolences are pouring in from north south east and west a seven day mourning period has been declared as all flags shall fly at half mass during this painful time of national money that is it that is to them because they refuse to do the right thing pure way to go farming is setting in because of its selfish either selfish and devilish activities child this is painful please the national flag should be on the half mass okay i think uh, this is the best way to handle these terrorists that are destroying people's crops with their individual business just pray just spray your surrounding with poisonous substance. Let the cows eat and die. If everyone can do this, they will allow their cows to be eating. They won't allow their cows to be eating people's crops. But if you don't spray that poisonous this thing to how do say to the crops, then does it mean one will not eat it at the end of the day? Okay. Um, this is a biological way to control the cattle's mess. The discoveries, this discoverers should make should please. Um, make the grass a uh, species available to all the uh, crops farmers to curb the headers menace some problems can be settled without fights this is to tell them that to tell them they have to make good provision of their cow business uh, it's a big good recreative business so they will stop moving around with cow destroying people's crops in the farmland do you know uh, in all of this problem that have been going on the miesiala never mentioned that that the s men or the cattle are being used to destroy other people's crops they don't talk about that they don't talk about that they will tell you that oh they are telling them they don't like them they don't do this and that what did you do for them to tell you that open grazing is not going to be allowed what did you do they don't talk they don't talk they don't say anything about they don't say anything about it, about the atrocities that their people are committing by destroying other people's their businesses. You want to hold on to your business, you are protecting, protecting your business, and yet you go to other people's business. We have never heard that uh, farmers are carrying AK-47. We are the ones that are carrying AK-47. Who does that? And the government is saying that every state should establish a, a ruga so that it will accommodate these people. It's a private business, no matter how they want to force it on any everybody it's not it can never be a national national uh, 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 business for the country that is exactly what the federal government is trying to do